Good morning, everyone. This is Deaconess Elizabeth, and it is Friday, October the 30th. And I'm here again for our daily devotions. And we are now in Matthew chapter 20. So if you'd like to follow along, you can turn there. Now we're starting at the first verse here. For the kingdom of heaven is like a master of a house who went out early in the morning to hire laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with the laborers for a denarius a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And going out about the third hour, he saw others standing idle in the mar marketplace and said to them, You go into the vineyard too, and whatever is right I will give you. So they went. Going out again about the sixth hour and the ninth hour, he did the same. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing. And he said to them, Why do you stand here idle all day? They said to him, Because no one has hired us. He said to them, You go into the vineyard too. And when evening came, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, Call the laborers and pay them their wages, beginning with the last up to the first. And when those hired about the eleventh hour came, each of them received a denarius. Now when those hired first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them also received a denarius. And on receiving it, they grumbled at the master of the house, saying, these last worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us, and who have borne the burden of the day and the scorching heat. But he replied to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what belongs to you and go. I choose to give to this last worker as I choose as I give to you. Am I not allowed to do what I choose with what belongs to me? Or do you begrudge my generosity? The last will be first, and the first last. So, this here is the, the parable of the laborers in the vineyard, and um, here we have the master of the house, or God, uh, looking for workers. So, at the very beginning, he finds some in the morning, and they agree to work with him for a denarius. And so they're working all day, and then the master goes out, Again, towards the middle of the day, he keeps going out at different times of the day and bringing more workers in. And finally, he, he brings in workers at the very end of the day who really only work like an hour. And uh, they're all working for him. And then he, when the master decides to pay them all, he gives them all a denarius. So the ones who have been working all day are upset about this since they've been doing the hard work for the longest. They think they deserve more. But here, uh, he, they um, they realize that um, th this parable points to us as well, and how God's grace is a free gift. He gives it to to all who believe. So these workers here, thinking that they've worked all day, they think they deserve more, but that's not how it works for us. We cannot work to get to to have a place in the kingdom of God. That's not how that works. Otherwise, that's denying God's free grace, free gift of grace. And so, some of us have been Christians all of our lives, while others have been called to faith later in life. And um, God has still, has still called each and every one of us. He's still given us that gift of eternal life with him in heaven. So, as this parable shows, we cannot work our works do nothing to gain us a, a place in the, the kingdom of heaven. It's only by God's gift that uh, of his, his grace that we can be made children of God, that he makes us children of God and heirs of that promise of eternal life. So today our hymn is uh, hymn 555, Salvation Unto Us Has Come, and we're going to sing verses 1 and 6. Salvation unto us has come by God's free grace and favor. Good works cannot avert our doom. They help and save us never. Faith looks to Jesus Christ alone, who did for all the world atone. He is our Redeemer. Since Christ has fallen 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I want to thank you again for joining us for our daily devotions on this Friday morning. Um, we have a few things that are continuing to go on here at Holy Shepherd. So tomorrow it is Saturday, and we will have Women's Coffee Hour at 10 a.m. online through Zoom. So we can all stay in the, the, the warmth of our, of our cozy homes with our coffee and everything. And then Sunday uh, we'll have church as normal. There, I believe, we'll be having a joint Sunday school. As I will not be here, I'll be at a conference. So Mrs. Rebecca Lassman will be doing uh, Sunday school for, for all of the children. And uh, then confirmation will be later in the evening. But there will be no women's Bible study on Monday as I will not be back yet. So I uh, hope you all have a wonderful Friday. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow through our daily devotions.